Hey, how are you doing AP College students? It's time for a key concept that you have to know. It's called the spending multiplier. All right, let's say you go to school and as you're walking at lunch, you find a $100 bill on the ground. You look around, everyone's gone, it's just you and 100 bucks and you take it. There's only two things you can do. You spend it or save it, that's it, that's all. How much of that $100 would you spend and how much would you save? And that leads to a conversation about the marginal propensity to consume and something called the marginal propensity to save. The marginal propensity to consume is the percentage how much you'd actually spend if I gave you $100. How much would you spend? So let's say, for example, your marginal propensity to consume is 0.8, or you would spend $80 if I gave you $100, right? So how much is your marginal propensity to save? Well, that must be 0.2, right? It's what's left over is how much you save. Okay, now that you got that, you're ready for something called the spending multiplier. When the government or people or businesses spend money in the economy, that money actually gets multiplied. Let's say the government spends $100 million on a new school. All right, that new school, that's $100 million, and people get that money. For example, the guy who did the drywall gets a certain dollar amount. When he gets that money, what does he do with it? He consumes some and he saves the other part. All right, how much in this case? Let's say he consumes 80% of it and then he saves 20% of it. Let's say he buys a new work truck. Now the person who sold him the work truck now has more money. They go spend it on a surfboard, a laptop computer, and go to a restaurant. Now the people that sold those things have more money and they spend some of it and they save some of it. So money that jumps to the economy gets multiplied. The spending multiplier, for math purposes, won over the marginal propensity to save. So in this situation, how much is the spending multiplier? The spending multiplier is 1 over 0.2. And 1 over 0.2 is 1 over 1 fifth. A little bit of math tells you the multiplier is 5. What does that mean? Well, if the government spends $100 million, that'll get multiplied times 5 when it's getting multiplied times other people to become $500 million. In the next video, you can do a bunch of practice questions to make sure you get it. So make sure to watch it. Till next time.